um, started um, maybe three, four months ago um, by comparing all the elements that we have in the collection. An element is a, a copy of a film, um, and there are different classes of elements. Uh, the ones that most people see are the prints that are shown in cinemas. The, all the prints that we have in the collection, which number about 20, um, and they were used uh, for the first exhibition of the film in 1979. Um, these prints were all discolored. What happens to acetate film over time is that the, the colors gradually vanish, and uh, the last color left is red. So generally, the prints you see are, are on the road to becoming pink, red. Um, the blues go, the greens go. Um, so what, in any restoration, you want to do is to, to get the color back, and uh, that's what we set about doing in Tate Flower by going back to the original negative. So the differences between the two negatives were such that I really wanted to find out what was behind, that there was a story behind this, uh, I needed to find out what it was. Uh, so I got in touch with George Slaus, the director, um, and uh, he basically remembered making the changes over that period of a few months. Um, and, and it was, in his mind, it was to try and make the film flow better, to make it um, more comprehensible by an audience, um, and to shorten it slightly, uh, to make a, a tighter package. Um, so having heard that from George, we knew that we had to use that second negative, um, which interestingly is the one which hadn't been used up to now, so most people will not have seen this new version. We knew that we wanted to make a DVD yeah. and also a new print. Mm -hmm. uh, the print would be shown in nation cinemas and the DVD would be available for release and could be watched by people in their homes, of course. Um, so to get the best quality for both, but particularly the DVD, we decided that um, a digital restoration would be a benefit. Uh, there we have much more control over the color grading. Um, and that was a, a big help during the, the production of, of the data that went through to make the DVD. Um, as a kind of byproduct of the digital process, you're also able to remove damages that existed in the negative. So dust spots and scratches we could take out in the way that um, people use Photoshop. <laughs>